be with you in just a second. Um, running kind of behind today um, with all the appointments and checkups. Mm, it's always pretty busy at the beginning of the year, especially. So just be patient with me for a few minutes and um, I'll be right with you when I can. things out before we get started. Just verify your name for me. Uh, okay. All right. Perfect. All right. And you are here for your yearly checkup, correct? Okay. Great. All right. So I'm just going to ask you a series of questions, okay, and just, you know, um, answer what you know, and if you have any questions along the way, just don't hesitate to stop me, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to verify your date of birth, that we have it in the system correctly. Call your last checkup. Okay. 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 And has there been any changes in the last year um, with your family history? started taking any new medications. Okay. Okay. All right, in just one second. Let me, let me write that down. And how's that been working for you so far? CDs. Okay. All right.
just need to get a pair of gloves on really quickly. Okay, so do you have any questions for me? Ears. I can take um, I can take a closer look at your ears today while we do your examination. Okay, I'll play. Um, yes, I will pay extra close attention just to make sure I don't see any redness or anything. Okay, so just give me a second. some pressure. Do you feel any pain when I push in your forehead? Okay. What about to the sides of your forehead, around your temple area? Do you feel any pain when I apply pressure to those areas? No. Okay. So I'm just going to apply some pressure right down the bridge of your nose and across your feel any pain? Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, and what about over here? By your jaw? Okay. Alright, and let's go right there. Okay. So I'm not um, seeing any signs of swollen glands or so that all looks good. Gotta be careful around this time of year. Okay, get, the, get a sore throat pretty easily if we're not careful, but everything seems pretty good so far. Um, I'm gonna take a look at your ears very first thing, because you did mention having a little bit of an earache. exact same thing over here and just make sure everything looks okay. 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 Let's just look at this one one more time. Just to make sure everything looks okay. Okay. So I am seeing a little bit of How has your sinuses been? Are you experiencing any um, runny nose, stuffy nose, any congestion? Okay. All right. Go ahead and look. Just to your eyes. Okay. Just look straight at the middle of my nose. do see a little redness, okay, in the bottoms of your eyes. Um, so I'm gonna look, I'm gonna take a closer look at your eyes in just a second, um, but 
what I do want to ask you when, when was your last eye examination? Okay. Okay, we can schedule you in for a eye exam. Um, I actually have a really good eye exam doctor. Okay, or I do those too, if you want to come see me for that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm just going to take a closer look then. Um, so this time, instead of just looking Exact same thing to this eye. I'm just gonna cover this eye. Just to follow this light, okay? do look very healthy, but I do want to get you into the eye appointment, okay? Just to give a quick checkup on those two. So, what I'm going to do now is just take a look inside your mouth. Okay, I'm just going to take a look back there, um, make sure I don't see any redness, okay? So, just go ahead and open your mouth for me. you some cough medicine and I'm gonna get you booked in for your eye appointment, okay? Um, your ears, that could just be... Um, we're gonna see how you feel in a couple weeks and if your ears are still having pain, then I want you to come back in and see me, okay? I'm not seeing signs of anything too um, alarming to me, okay? But I do want to get you some cough drops, cough medicine. Do you prefer one or the other? medicine, okay? Alright, so first things first, let me just sign back in here. Before we forget, I'm gonna set your appointment, okay, for the eye exam. Did you want to come in and see me for that, or um, do you have a, a doctor that you prefer?
gonna say we have a couple nurses that um, have started doing it, but I do it as well, okay? So I'll just book you in for me. And while we're talking about it, um, when's the last time you had a um, color test done for your color vision? as well. Would you prefer those appointments to be um, around the same time? Okay, I can put them about a week apart. That's that's okay. Let's see. We are pretty booked up for eye exams, but I can probably fit you in. Hmm. Does the um, what's good? What did the third week be next month? Okay, so it's looking like our um, soonest available appointment is the third week of next month. Unless somebody were to call and cancel their appointment or something ahead of time, we could always give you a call. But that's looking like the Go ahead and do your eye examination first. Okay, so just kind of like a of an overall checkup. So the third week of next month, and let's see, would Wednesday work for you? Okay. All right. We have a few times available that day. Um, just early morning or afternoon. for your appointment, but you're going to want to get here about 30 minutes early because we're going to have a lot of paperwork for you to sign. Okay. Just, just, um, ordinary questions, you know, going over your health, your eye health and everything. Medical history, family history, things like that. Okay. Alright, so, got that. Now let's just go ahead and book your, um, your color. them a week apart, you said. Okay. Okay. So, we have one available. We actually have two days available the following week. We have a Monday and a Thursday. like we have um, early morning 9 o'clock, we have an 11 o'clock, we have a 12.45, and we have a 2.45. 2.45. Okay. So you should have to come early for that one. You should, you should be okay to just show up at 2.45. That, that should be fine, because all your paperwork will be filled out by then. examination and your color test, okay? So, let's go ahead and get you another refill on your current medication. 
decorations. And this is the correct pharmacy here. Okay. Just double checking, making sure I'm sending it to the right place. It's just the original flavoring um, cherry cough syrup. Is that okay? Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put you on any antibiotics right now. Um, but if you are still having ear pain in a couple weeks, just give me a call. Okay. Um, trying to. Resolve certain things naturally before jumping into any further medications, okay? So, but if it progresses at all and you want to do want to um, have a prescription for it, then um, you know, I can do that for you. Let's just give it some time and see if it heals up by itself. Because it didn't look work or school or any type of event to come to the doctor today. Okay, so I can write you a little note out saying that you are here. yourself a nice hot glass of tea, put a little honey in it, um, you know, and just, just rest, okay? Especially if you've been feeling a little drained and your ears have been hurting and, um, everything, just take your cough medicine and, um, and drink some hot tea with that and you should be okay. Just, I want you to just rest and drink lots of fluids, okay? Make sure that you're listening to your body, because if you listen to your body and just do what it needs, do the healthy, the healthy things that your body's calling out for, then you'd be surprised on how amazing you will start feeling, okay? Do you know, especially around this time of year, it's easy to become dehydrated, um, just because we're so used to being cozy, you know, and drinking coffee and hot cocoa and eggnog and all these holiday drinks and, um, you know, we're skipping out on our daily intake of water, so just make sure you're drinking enough of your water, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna put my phone number on the bottom here just so you have it, just so they, if they need to call me or anything, that they can. Okay, 
So is one note gonna be okay or do you need another one for any anything else? Okay. So I'll go ahead and hand you that. Um I think that is everything. I think that is everything. Um so your next checkup you'll you should be good for another here, unless you want to see me back in six months, okay? Okay. We can do six months if you'd like. Alright. So I'll just book you for a day in July. If anything changes before that, you can always call or email me and we'll change your appointment, okay? Before you leave, I do want to just check your chest and your back, okay? I forgot to do that there at the beginning. Um, but I do want to do that just really quickly before you go, okay? Okay. So, just breathe in. Nice, big, deep breath. Breathe out. Okay. Breathe in. Okay. And I just want you to breathe normally, okay? No, you don't have to breathe deeply or anything. Just breathe how you usually would. to your back. Send um, the nurse a note, okay? And she will, she will be able to help you out with that um, right before you leave, okay? Just see her on your way out, and she can take care of you. Okay. okay. Is there anything else that you wanted to? pressure was a little bit high when the nurse checked it. Did she check it just once? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check it again just to um, give you peace of mind, okay? Make sure that it's okay. Is it usually on the normal side? Or is it usually kind of high, low? Okay. Wait, just give me a second. Let me get my
Is this the same arm that she... Did your blood pressure on? Deep breath and just relax, okay? Okay. So, um, according to my machine, been um, the stress of coming to the doctor. I know sometimes that can be a little stressful, but once you get here and find out everything is okay, then usually blood pressure goes down a little bit. So, go ahead and just take this off your arm here. See you back here pretty soon.